Hello again and welcome to another video from Learn Electrics. This video is all about choosing the correct plug top fuse for safety and it will be useful for the general householder as well as for electricians. A few years ago plug top fuses came in many many different amp ratings but the industry is coming around to using just three values of fuse now. 3 amp, 5 amp and 13 amp. What we need to know when changing fuses is what is the correct size to fit, will it function effectively and will it provide me or the householder with the appropriate level of safety and protection in the event of an electrical fault. Too small a fuse and the appliance will forever be blowing fuses but too big a fuse and the devices could overheat and catch fire before the fuse blows. So, this video should make all of this a lot clearer and more understandable for you. Most plug tops will not give any outward clue as to the size of fuse fitted, as shown on the left plug here. But some plug tops, as on the right, will have a label attached that indicates the size of fuse that was originally fitted. This can be a good indication, but do not always rely on it. At Learn Electrics, we often come across situations where a 3 amp fuse has been replaced with a 13 amp fuse because that was the only size available, or simply that the person changing the fuse did just not check it. Whatever the reason, in this video, we will show you how to do it correctly, how to determine the correct size of fuse for any application. It's easy, it's a five second calculation and you will remember it forever. Just about every electrical appliance will have a label attached. We call this the rating plate. It tells us the voltage range that it will safely work at and it tells us the power consumption. Unfortunately, these labels rarely tell us the size of fuse and that is the purpose of this video. Five or six minutes from now and you will be able to determine the correct fuse size for just about any domestic appliance. The rating plate shown here is on a kettle. It will be found underneath the kettle or sometimes next to the power socket on the kettle. This one tells us two things. The voltage range is between 220 volts and 240 volts. And the power rating is between 2250 watts at the lower voltage and 3000 watts at the higher voltage. In the UK, our actual mains voltage is 240 volts, and so we will be using the 3000 watt number. This rating plate is on a vacuum cleaner and tells us that at 240 volts the appliance will draw 1,200 watts of power. Another example, a toaster. This time the rating is shown as 230 volts. This is the nominal voltage that is quoted in Europe and the UK. This is shown as 230 volts and 850 watts. As you can see, there will nearly always be a rating plate somewhere on every appliance. It is simply a matter of finding it and recognising it. A slow cooker is shown here at 220 volts or 240 volts and a power rating of 60 watts. That doesn't sound very much, but a slow cooker is designed to cook on a very low power for several hours. Therefore, we should fuse it appropriately. And finally, a bedside lamp. This one shows that at 240 volts it will draw 40 watts of power. So let's put all this into practice. We need to do a quick and very easy calculation. One of those calculations that you can do in your sleep and yes it is so easy that even my cat could do it. To do the calculation look at the rating plate and simply divide the watts by the voltage. This will give you the amps it is then very easy to choose the correct fuse. 
For this kettle, we have 3000 watts and 240 volts. Looking at the yellow box here, if the rating plate shows a value in kilowatts or KW, this simply means thousands of watts. It's very easy. Take the number of kilowatts, two in this example, and multiply by 1000. And that is the new number to use in the calculation. Just take the two kilowatts and then two times a thousand is 2000. That is the number in watts to use 2000 watts. Back to our kettle. This is what the calculation looks like. Put these numbers into a calculator or the calculator on your mobile phone and out pops the answer. 3000 divided by 240 gives us 12.5 amps. Now, choose a fuse from the three values shown. The fuse should be equal to or bigger than the answer that you have just calculated. In this case, we will choose a 13 amp fuse. And that is it. It is no more complicated than that. Do this two or three times and you will be an expert. On this table, we have shown some examples of the calculated amps and the size of fuse that should be chosen. You can see that for 1 amp, 1.5 amps or even 3 amps that we should choose a 3 amp fuse. If your calculation gives 3.5 amps, then we must go to the next fuse size above, which is 5 amps. Another example, if we calculated 5.5 amps as shown halfway down the table, we must not fit a 5 amp fuse. It will only blow when you plug the appliance in. For 5.5 amps, we must select a 13 amp fuse. A 6 amp rating would also require a 13 amp fuse. And as we have shown on the previous slide, for 12.5 amps, we also choose a 13 amp fuse. This little table shows the sizes of fuses that we suggest at Learn Electrics for different ranges of power ratings or wattages to be used in United Kingdom installations. Look at the rating plate and then compare the watts to the table. Up to 700 watts or 0 0.7 kilowatts fit a 3 amp fuse. Between 700 and 1150 watts fit a 5 amp fuse. Or in kilowatts between 0 0.7 kilowatts to 1.15 kilowatts. And lastly, between 1150 watts and 3,100 watts fit a 13 amp fuse. This is the same as between 1.15 kilowatts and 3.1 kilowatts. And this table shows some typical fuse sizes for some typical household appliances. It is up to you to check your own appliances, but generally these sizes will serve you well. And finally, a quick word on plug top labels. These two plugs shown here are both labelled with a fuse size. Assuming they are correct, then what size fuse should be fit into each plug? The plug on the left is fairly straightforward. It is a 3 amp fuse and 3 amp fuses are available. The plug on the right indicates a 10 amp fuse. Assuming this was correct, we may have a problem here as 10 amp fuses are being phased out. You may get a 10 amp fuse, you may not. But good practice suggests that we should replace a blown 10 amp fuse with a 13 amp fuse. It's acceptable, it's correct and it's safe. And the last point I need to make is so very important. When changing fuses, always keep the old fuse well away from the new good fuses and once you know it is the fuse that has blown, throw the old fuse away. You don't need it. It cannot be repaired. It is of no use to you. Get rid of it. Worse than that, if you mix it with the new fuses, what happens next time you change a fuse? You may well end up changing a blown fuse for a blown fuse. And now the confusion starts. A quick recap then. Always work safely. 
Please ensure that you've unplugged, switched off, isolated the appliance from any electrical supply. Take the plug out of the socket whilst you work on it. Check the rating plate on the appliance and perform that very easy calculation. Watts divided by volts will give you the value in amps that the device would use. Choose the correct size fuse to handle the amps. Reassemble your plug top and the job is done. Please remember that electricity is dangerous and always treat it with respect. At Learn Electrics, we always say that if you are unsure at any time, then stop and seek skilled assistance. It is far better to ask for help and get the job done safely than to have a ride in an ambulance or worse. Well, thank you for watching this video. We hope that you've enjoyed it and that you've added some more information to your mental toolbox. Learning Electrics have also produced a video on how to change a fuse. If you haven't done this before, then this step-by-step -step video will guide you through it correctly and safely. You can find the video on the Learn Electrics YouTube page or better still, click on the subscribe button below and you will have access to all of our tech tips and householder videos. We publish a new video every week and by subscribing to our channel you can be sure of seeing the next one just as soon as we publish it. Thank you once more and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.